which will be something a little more worthy of my skill next time. You know the drill, Agent. Head on down for debriefing. So the first target was SN1, I mean uh, SN2, piece of cake. I just waited for the leaving group to give the signal, moved in from the back, and replaced them. No problem. The tertiary substrate what? had no idea. Wait, did you say tertiary substrate? Yeah, why? Doesn't SN2 reactions prefer tertiary substrates? No, you imbecile. It is rather worrying to me that you that you say you went after a tertiary substrate while performing the SN2 reaction. You should always go behind the substrate for an SN2 reaction, and no tertiary substrate will have enough room for an easy transition. Instead, a primary substrate is preferred so you may coordinate with the leaving group on a simultaneous swap, inverting the geometry of the product in the process. Secondary substrates are also acceptable targets. I went on to do the SN1 reaction. The uh, leaving group gave their signal. The tertiary substrate shuffled a little bit, then the leaving group came back, and so I went and... You forgot the proton transfer. Well, the leaving group left, so I figured it was okay. Always be sure that the leaving group is stable enough to hold a negative charge when it leaves. A proton may need to be transferred to it first. The nucleophile and the intermediate carbocation should also be stable. No need rearrangements in the intermediate that occur to provide for this. Is Agent 2 available? Please send him to the field as soon as possible. It seems that the status of your missions are incomplete. I've sent another agent to resolve them. She'll outline the details later. So far, we've gone, gone over SN2 and SN1 reactions. What were your other assignments? Elimination reactions, specifically E2 reactions. Right now, tell me about your plan. I went to our green meeting spot, checked I was grabbing the hydrogen closest to the leaving group, and that the tertiary substrate released them. Wait, what went wrong this time? You went for the closest hydrogen to the leaving group. While a proper E2 reaction only takes place with the base taking the hydrogen exactly 180 degrees from the leaving group. Very good. Commendable effort in the use of a tertiary substrate. E2 reactions generally aren't as sterically dependent as SN2 reactions, but still have similar kinetics. I feel like you do better than that. <laughs> that's the best scene. Break, baby! Yeah! E2 reactions require a strong base to pull off the hydrogen and results in the formation of an alkene. Typically, it follows Zaitsev's rule in favoring the more substituted product, but the less substituted product may result from a Hoffman elimination if certain bases are used. E2 reactions may also compete with SN2 reactions if the base is a nucleophile and the substrate is sterically unhindered enough for an SN2 reaction to occur. Just to clarify, E1 reactions are stepwise mechanisms that involve the formation of a carbocation intermediate. The rate of the reaction is dependent on the stability of the carbocation, and the reaction produces an alkene. Correct, but just to be sure, remember that E1 reactions follow similar rules as the SN1 reactions when it comes to reactivity, and that the stability of the carbocation and the leaving group take precedence. Some groups, such as alcohols, have proton transfers of the leaving group prior to the final proton transfer that creates the product. Zaitsev's rule applies to the products and it doesn't have E2's hydrogen specification. It also competes with SN1 reactions. Would you please resolve his mission errors and address his ignorance? Thank you. You're both dismissed.